You looking for an easy yet delicious pasta recipe? I got one for you. Garlic and olive oil pasta. Let's go. All right, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe, guys. Really, really simple, not many, but I love this particular spaghetti because it is so good. I love garlic, I love cheese, I love pasta. I mean, you can't go wrong then you add those chili flakes. Oh man, so let's do a quick roll call. Right here we have our spaghetti here, and I'm using the thin spaghetti. We have some olive oil, sliced garlic cloves, fresh parsley, freshly grated Parmesan cheese, salt, chili peppers, chili flakes, and some black pepper. So these are the ingredients, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now we're at our stove. As you can see, I have a pot of water here coming up to boiling temperature. Once it comes up to a complete boil, what we're gonna do is add our spaghetti pasta and we're gonna cook it to it's al dente. That's typically around eight to 10 minutes, all right? So I'm gonna add a little salt in here. I like to salt my water when I cook my pasta. And now we're gonna go in with our pasta. Now I know some people like to break their pasta up, you know, before they put it in, which is fine. You can do that also. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. So this time I'm not gonna do it with my spaghetti. I'll, for some reason when I'm eating my spaghetti, I like my spaghetti strings to be long. That way I could twist them up on my fork. And I love it like that. So that's the way I'm, I'm cooking my spaghetti exactly like this, all right? So guys, we're gonna go ahead and let this cook again, like I said, for about eight to 10 minutes. While that cooks, we're gonna head over to our cooktop and we're gonna start preparing our olive and garlic oil, okay? All right, so now we're at our cooktop. We're gonna turn it on, we're gonna get this baby up to temperature and we're gonna add our olive oil and we're gonna let that come up to temperature. And as our olive oil comes up to temperature, we're gonna add our garlic and guys, you wanna make sure you slice your garlic for this particular recipe, not chop. And we're gonna add our red chili flakes. And we're gonna cook this for a few minutes to get all that flavor infused. And you wanna be careful not to overcook it. So we're gonna turn our heat down because we're not looking to overcook this. So we're gonna keep this on a low medium, a medium low. So we're looking for that garlic to turn like a pale gold. Guys, you never wanna burn your garlic. Burnt garlic is the worst, I always say that. All right, so it looks like our garlic is starting to turn that color. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to turn our heat down and we're gonna stir in our parsley. And this is what we're looking for right here. All right, guys, so now we've turned our heat off. So we're gonna remove our pan from our cooktop. We're gonna sit on our cutting board and we're gonna move back over here to our spaghetti because it's almost done. All right, so we're about eight minutes in, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off our heat. We're gonna take our spaghetti now and we're just gonna go over to the sink and we're gonna drain it, all right? And I'm gonna come right back. All right, so now that I've drained our spaghetti, what I'm gonna do now is add our olive oil and garlic mixture. And we're gonna get this mixed up in here like that. And guys, you can also, if you want to make a little bit more moist, you could save your, like a fourth of a cup of your water that your pasta was in. Not a fourth, I'm sorry, half a cup. And you could pour it in here. Kind of like give it just a little bit more moisture. Only use a little bit of mine. And now we're gonna add some black pepper, which I like my black pepper in here. And we're gonna add our salt. Guys, if you need to add a little bit more, feel free to add a little bit more. We're gonna start off with a half a teaspoon of both. Of course, I normally use more salt. Guys, take a look at that. Man, doesn't that look good? All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this on the plate, and then we're gonna go into our final presentation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, I'm gonna add a few more chili flakes to it. I like this particular pasta to have just a little heat to it from the chili flakes, not the black pepper. Then we're gonna come across that with some, that freshly grated Parmesan cheese. 
Oh man. And lastly, we're gonna come across that some more with some more uh, freshly chopped parsley. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And there you have it, guys. Garlic and olive oil spaghetti. I know y'all are saying, but where the meat at? No, man, this don't need the meat right here. So I'm gonna leave the measurements and ingredients all in the video description below. Guys, leave your comments in the comment section below. I wanna know what you think about this recipe. Let's go ahead and get in the quality control because I wanna taste it out. I already know how it tastes. I make this, I make this a lot, so I know it's delicious. But I'm gonna let y'all see how I really think about it when you see the look on my face. All right, let's go. All right, so we are back here for quality control. Very easy, very simple recipe. So I got to get in the kitchen and get right here at this table real quick. Let me show you guys what I have. Oh man. And God, I'm gonna add more uh, Parmesan cheese. I love Parmesan cheese. I just, oh man, I could put the whole thing on it. And of course, I'm gonna add some more chili flakes to mine too. I'm telling you, I like that spice in mine. And we just gonna go ahead and get busy. Gotta get them rolled up here. Mmm. Oh man. Mm. On point, guys. On point. Mmm. Ah. You wanna try this one out. So, until the end, I'm your cook, Spinelli. This is All Wings Everything, and y'all already know. I ain't a chef, I just cook a lot and I'm out, peace.